One of the teams that's bringing a huge upgrade package to Barcelona is Ferrari. With the Maranello squad focusing on some of the major issues that made the SF23 hard to drive. But while everyone is doubting that the Maranello squad can make the leap from barely being on the podium to winning races in 2023, the magnitude of the upgrades they're bringing to Barcelona is telling the exact opposite story. And as of now, it seems like we're going to receive the long-awaited Leclerc-Verstappen battle, as the Monegasque driver has unfinished business here from last year. Will the SF23 finally be able to beat Red Bull by using their own potion? The 2023 season didn't start the way Ferrari wanted it to, with them receiving only one podium finish in Azerbaijan and being completely pointless in Australia, the race that saw Sainz receive the harsh time penalty during the last lap and Leclerc crash out on the opening sequence. Nonetheless, they've brushed it off and shown that the car has the speed and performance they need in order to be competitive with Red Bull, and the Baku qualifying for the sprint and main event showed exactly that. There is, however, one main issue that they need to tackle before being considered a proper championship candidate, and that is the race pace. Unlike Mercedes, Ferrari understood the technical regulations from day one, and that has been proven multiple times throughout the course of the past season. But the massive shakeup in the technical staff, as well as the leadership, brought its own challenges that the team needs to fight right now. Therefore, Barcelona is the first circuit in which we'll see the upgraded version of Ferrari's 2023 Challenger, and it seems like they're very confident in the development path they've taken, even though Sainz called the team out publicly asking to change the direction in which the SF23 will be driven. Nonetheless, this means one thing, Ferrari is ready to fight for wins. All they need is a couple of pieces of the puzzle to fall exactly where they need to fall, and they'll end up with a product that will satisfy their fans' needs. Truth be told, we are all Ferrari fans right now, and if the sole team that managed to beat Red Bull in any kind of competition in 2023 is bringing an upgrade package to Barcelona, it is a huge indicator that we'll have more competitive fights for the win. But what is Ferrari bringing to the table? Obviously, with them not changing the design of the car, you shouldn't expect something radical or drastic on the car, right? Well, you'd be in the wrong here, and according to Carreri della Sport, a media outlet that is very close to Ferrari and to the F1 Sport in general, the Maranello team finally decided to mount what seems to be working perfectly well on the car, the side pod design of Red Bull. After all, Leclerc was just one-tenth of a second behind Verstappen during the qualifying session in Monaco, and considering the fact that the Dutchman drove a brilliant third sector, this definitely boosts the hope of Ferrari fans that they can indeed see their drivers at the highest place on the podium this week. Leclerc was the one leading the race with more than 12 seconds of advantage last year before the turbocharger failure. So, if anything, Ferrari has the upper hand going against Red Bull on a track that seemed to favour the Maranello team much more than the rest of the grid. The upgrade that Ferrari were expected to bring to Imola has been rescheduled in Barcelona, and it seems to be the real deal for the SF23. The renowned media wrote, In Maranello, engineers remain convinced that the updates will make the SF23 more consistent and balanced in the race, with small advantages even in single lap pace. The data seen on the simulator suggests there is reason for optimism. New rear suspension, new Red Bull style side pods and floor are expected. Definitely the floor is part that not only Ferrari, but all the other teams are going to work on in the precise details, given the fact that they've been able to see a clear picture of where the RB19 gains the advantage from. However, unlike all the other teams, Ferrari's been the one that was more or less on par with Red Bull in terms of downforce requirements on the car and straight line speed, as it seems like the reliability issues and bad luck has put the team where they are right now. If the newest upgrades brought in by Barcelona turn out to be the real deal, then it will be Ferrari that has all the potential to climb to the top and win the championship in 2023, no matter how much of a far-fetched scenario that seemed at this point. What people don't seem to fully grasp is how good the Ferrari car is right now, and the team's lack of performance is not due to the car itself, but rather to other external factors that could happen to any outlet out there. Unlike Mercedes, Ferrari doesn't have to change from its core, and there are just small tweaks that they need to perform on the SF23, starting in Barcelona, to be the most dominant car on the grid. And to top it off, they will have around 10% more time to spend in the wind tunnels compared to Red Bull as the season goes by. So, if they get the upgrades right, and if they manage to extract the maximum out of the new side pods and the suspension area, they'll be the team that we need to look out for, and not Mercedes or Aston Martin. When talking about the confidence with which the team is headed into Barcelona, Vasseur added, I hope we will take a step forward and continue to bring updates that allow the drivers to find the limit more easily. 
everyone is focused on their own development and their own problems, and it would be a mistake to compare the way the teams approach the updates. But I think everyone's pushing. We're working hard and we have to keep our heads up. We're hoping to have a great weekend. We'll bring updates, but that doesn't mean we're changing our philosophy. I think there's room for improvement in terms of performance, but it would be a mistake to completely change the concept in the middle of the season. I hope we'll take a step forward in Barcelona, but it will not be the end of car development in terms of updates. This is definitely what the Ferrari fans wanted to hear from Vasseur. More upgrades coming to the car even after the team has mounted the side pods that will be more or less the same as the ones on the RB19. What this effectively shows is that Ferrari is far from giving up on the title. Even though Sainz and Leclerc did point out how badly the car performed at the previous circuits and how big of a challenge it was for him to understand the wants and needs of the SF23. But according to Vasseur, these claims of Sainz and Leclerc are a little bit exaggerated, as the 0.1 second difference in Monaco qualifying showed that they're very close to the RB19, which only goes to boost his narrative that this is not the time where the team should change the philosophy and the concept of the car. Ferrari's been working hard on what they have in Maranello, and although it seems like the results are not visible on the track, the performance of the car doesn't seem to be directly correlated to how it looks or the entire philosophy around it. Vasseur has opened up about the car's expected performance in Barcelona, as he provided deep details in what the Ferrari fans and the entire F1 world should expect from a technical point of view from the SF23, if everything goes according to plan. As he went on to add, there's a lot of questions. The first one is about the package. It's not just about the potential and package and upgrades. We also have to upgrade the car into a better window. The first target for us is not to just put downforce on the car. It is to be more consistent and on top of the car. We have big room for improvement with the current car in terms of performance. And the second question is, do we have to restart from scratch on the group or on the car? I would say that as long as I'm convinced we can improve the current car, it would be a mistake during the season to change completely the target, first for time frame. Obviously, Vasseur is very convinced that whatever they have in the works in Maranello seems to be working, which is the main reason why the car will remain the same concept and will deliver the results that are expected from it, win races and be a championship competitor. The question is whether Leclerc and Sainz could hold on to the pressure of being championship contenders, as last year we've seen that the Monegasque has fumbled under the pressure in Italy and France, and this is a factor that can definitely determine whether a driver is capable of winning a championship in his career. As of now, Ferrari is the only team that can challenge Red Bull for the race wins, as they've been the only ones that understood the major technical regulation shakeup from 2022. And even with the minor tweaks that were introduced for the 2023 season, Ferrari is still in the same operating window of challenging Red Bull for the wins. Unlike the rest of the grid, Ferrari doesn't have to wait for the following season or the next major shakeup in the technical regulations scheduled for 2026 to be competitive. And with that being said, the Barcelona upgrades will have a huge say on whether or not the SF23, driven by Leclerc or Sainz, will be on the same level as the RB19. The car's potential is the number one thing that can lead Ferrari to the greatest trophy. However, unlocking more race performance seems to be the major issue that the Maranello team is currently fighting, one in which we might see Ferrari actually coming out as the winner. Right now, this may seem like mission impossible for the Maranello team, but come Barcelona time, rest assured that the narrative will change.